The question is whether CF4 is ionic or covalent. This is carbon tetrafluoride. So we have our periodic table here. It's divided up into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So we'll find carbon right here. Carbon, that's a nonmetal. And then fluorine right over here, another nonmetal. When we have two nonmetals, we have a covalent compound, also called a molecular compound. Let's take a look at the structure just to see what that means. So we have three different representations here. In this first representation, we have our carbon in the center, and each one of these lines represents a pair of electrons, a shared pair of electrons. That's the bond, the covalent bond between the carbon and the fluorine atoms. So because it's covalent, the electrons are shared between these atoms here. We could also draw the Lewis structure that would show all of the electrons. You could see each fluorine has an octet, and the carbon in the center has an octet, and that's because they're sharing these electrons right here. So covalent bond shares electrons. We could also look at the molecular geometry. That's a tetrahedral. Again, these are our covalent bonds right here. This is Dr. B answering the question whether carbon tetrafluoride, CF4, is ionic or covalent. It is covalent, also called molecular. Thanks for watching.